My name is Captain Ashley Kessler. I'm on the teaching staff at San Jacinto College at the Maritime Technology and Training Center campus here in Houston, Texas. This is part six of my series on radar plotting, contact changes course, or contact changes speed. Previously, in my videos before this, we talked about our own ships changing course or our own ship changing speed. In this video, the contact's going to change course or speed. So my objectives are, at the end of this presentation, you will be able to demonstrate when the contact changes course to 310 degrees, then determine a new CPA and bearing a CPA. Second, you'll be able to demonstrate when the contact changes speed to 12 knots then you'll be able to determine a new CPA and bearing of CPA. We'll start with the contact changing course. The contact changes course to 310 degrees. Our required CPA for our own ship is two nautical miles and the execution point or MX is going to be five nautical miles. This is our basic triangle. E to R is our own ship's true course and speed heading due north at 20 knots. The contact is heading westbound and the relative motion line is breaching our CPA by approximately 1.8 miles. The contact contacts me and tells me they're gonna alter course to 310 degrees when they're approximately five miles away from me. When they call me, they'll probably give me what time they're going to be altering course. So this, we want to find the new course of 310 degrees. Then we want to parallel that to E. Instead of us changing course, us stabbing E and swinging R to starboard, this time the contact is going to change course. So we're going to get our compass, we're going to stab E, and swing M06 to starboard since they're going to change from 270 to 310 degrees and that's going to be an M prime. If the contact changes course they're going to change relative motion. The old relative motion was R00 to M06. The new relative motion is going to be R prime to M06. So I can draw a new relative motion line then parallel that down to 5 miles at MX. And I can get a new CPA and bearing of CPA. So when they altered course from 270 to 310, they opened up their CPA for me from 1.8 miles to just under 4 miles, bearing 340 degrees. The contact calls me and tells me they're going to slow down. So the contact is going to slow to 12 knots. Our own ship's required CPA is still 2 nautical miles and the execution point or MX is still 5 nautical miles. Same example as we had before, but this time the contact is going to slow to 12 knots. So we need to find 12 knots on the 12 mile scale. And if you know the speed, you go to E. So now we're gonna slow this contact by putting that 12 knot vector from their E to M, and that's going to be M prime. If the contact changes speed, they also change relative motion. The old relative motion was from R00 to M06. The new relative motion line is gonna be from R00 to M prime. Then if I parallel that down to MX, them slowing down to 12 knots will put them even closer to me, this time just a little over one mile, and their bearing is going to be 300. To review our objectives for the contact changing course and speed, first we demonstrated when the contact changed course from 270 
to 310, we could then determine a new CPA and bearing of CPA to see if they opened up their CPA to meet our required CPA. Second, we demonstrated when the contact could slow down to 12 knots, we could determine a new CPA and bearing of CPA. If you have any comments or questions about this video, you're welcome to email me at my campus email address at ashley.kessler at sjcd.edu.